invited on a fishing expedition. Haven't done one of these in, I don't know, since I was 10. I'm gonna hand you over to Zede to do a quick briefing on Sounds good. fishing and stuff like that. You see the all the rods? Right. This one is using for trolling, jigging and casting. Right. Okay. So we are doing like a four fishing trip together. Like we're today. doing four and one today. Yeah. So we're gonna get a shark, uh, we're gonna get a catfish, what else I are we think, gonna get? Uh, not for shark, I think, but we can get a, get a, like a good fishers, like yeah. big fishers, like a jack or uh, maybe a sailfish. Okay. Maybe. All right. <laughs> Right now, the guys are setting up the fishing lines. The guys have told me that uh, we're gonna try four different styles of fishing rods. Some basic, some pretty heavy duty. I guess the goal is to find a, uh, I don't know, a big tuna. That's the uh, that's the goal. Or a red snapper, I was told. That is the fish that we're looking for today. And uh, maybe we can bring it home after that. So let's see what these guys do. We're going 25 minutes away from the island. I'm pretty excited about this. I haven't done this in a long time and I'm so happy I get to bring you guys along with me. Hey, I haven't caught a fish in 30 years. Last time I caught a fish, I was, you know, just a little guy, and it was a little one. So let's see what we do. I know nothing about fishing at all. He's got the team behind me, and uh, look at this. Look at this backdrop. Beautiful turquoise blue water. These guys are picking up some serious, serious rods here. How's it going, man? What have we got here? What's going on here now? Yeah. Uh, now we'll do the casting. So that's casting? Fine. Yeah. So that's why we are taking all the trolling rods right. to the side because right. it will be hard to throw in away. How many meters out do you think? Uh, it depends on how far he can throw. Uh, sometimes look at that big average. 30 yards, 30, yeah. 40 yards yeah. maybe out there. All right. So there's no there's no meat on those hooks or anything. You don't need it. Uh, no, no meat. These are teasers itself. These lures are teasers. Okay. So they're called poppers. Poppers. So they, yeah, poppers. So they pop. It's like they're splashing the water so the, 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 the predator fish thing, that's another... Got it, you know, okay. Uh, tiny fish. They trick the fish. Sorry? They trick the fish yes, into thinking exactly. there's something yeah, alive. We think the fish is dumb. Ah. <laughs> so what kind of fish we can get here? Uh, this, uh, these areas, they, basically we're casting on a, on a reef. So we're, we're targeting on uh, uh, reef fish, predator ones. Usually they are uh, red snapper grouper uh, and jack and sometimes uh, big barracudas so it is absolutely beautiful out here uh, the water is very calm temperature is fantastic the sun is behind me and in the front here we're doing some uh, flying what do we call this again this is casting casting we're doing some casting here they're, they're all over the place uh, trying to get some fish here. We got some hooks that are called poppers, and I'm glad that you guys are coming along with me. This is um, this is pretty easy to organize from uh, most hotels. This is the galley that has lined this up for me, and uh, you basically go to the front desk, sign up for the excursion. They bring you out on a beautiful boat, and they take care of everything. And if you catch it, you eat it. So let's see what we can get. So we haven't had any luck yet, but we've just got started today. So a lot more to come, a lot more reels and rods ready to go. <laughs> Don't cast too fast. Do it slowly, so the fish will come after it. So that's another fisherman just passing guidance. <laughs> that's what Maldivians do on the fishing ground. They think they know better, right? Sometimes, yeah. <laughs> Manta. <gasps> oh my gosh. <gasps> Manta alert! Yes. Manta alert! Oh my gosh.
He sure makes it look easy. This is the first cast I've ever done in a lifetime, guys. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, don't worry, it's not really a big deal. Uh, okay, yes, exactly. So, you put enough grease, grease for it. Yes, there you go, not bad for the first cast. Okay, <laughs> now, now, lock it, lock it, then. Yes, all right. Yes. Yes. Here you go. All right. Anybody can do it, right? Anyone can. <laughs> anyone can do it. It's just a few, next. few few tries, and then you you're good to go. You're how, how much fun is it? Well, um, the fun is when you hook on on the fish. Actually, that's the important part. But this is the learning process. So what we do for our guests is not because normally not not most people are familiar with this type of fishing. So we teach them a little bit, and they can try themselves. 10 out of 10, you, you catch fish? Uh, I'd say 10 out of, of 5 out of 10 is, is quite successful always because uh, most of our clients are beginners of this type of game fishing. But when we go on our own, of course, yeah. We always so why do we come here? Is that like a popular fishing oh, spot? Well, basically, these are very remote locations where, you know, this type of fish live quite freely and it's quite common to catch. Uh, and also, depending on the current movement, we decide which location to go. So. At the moment, it's eastern flow, so basically we're casting all around the reef. At the moment, the waters are correct. Uh, no, so what happens to the fish if we catch them? We bring them to the kitchen? Exactly, yeah. Well, basically, we also offer uh, for, for, you know, for our clients to, to eat their kitsch. Um, they can you know, ask the chef to prepare it, and we serve it on dinner, free of charge, basically. So you, you, you push yeah. it up so that you can actually throw your Kind of lob it. Yeah. There we go. Fishing, you have to be patient, you know. It's not an immediate catch like the ones that you use with the bait fish. It's always 100% guaranteed you can catch something here. But these are, this is game fishing, so you gotta keep on track. These are good for casting and holding the grip, plus it protects my finger from the thread. Why can't we try the real bait? You'll get the, really? you'll, you'll catch it faster. Uh, we will actually use ah. it uh, during the sunset time. So that's when the fish actually start to come up feeding, and that's always guaranteed. Last resort, right? <laughs> yes, that's always last resort. He's got his gloves on, and he's ready to knock out a fish. I'm waiting. I'm here, and they're out there. We're gonna start trolling for, for big fish, the big ones. Um, and th these are targeted for kingfish, tuna, and giant trevally. So um, the big ones. So it's going to take. We'll try for an hour and see what what's our luck. Uh, we have different methods that we're going to use. Uh, there you can see down boats, which actually puts the lure a deep, deeper. Uh, these ones come a little bit uh, out. But we also use the octopus, which is on the top water. So three areas that we're focusing um, to to catch any of these. Uh, Giant ones. Hopefully we'll get them. These are big guns for the big fish. <laughs> and got all the lines ready to rock and roll. We're gonna troll for about an hour and go down a little bit deeper and get some big ones. So cross your fingers. Gloves are on and the rods are in the water. Let's stack it, pack it, and rack it, guys. How much line are we putting out here? About, about 200 meters of fishing line we're putting in the water right now. How are we going to know if somebody bites it? So basically we're having uh, one, two, three, four lines out. Right. At the same time, they all have different lures. So they're, they're, also, they're all to prevent uh, the wires getting in getting touch with the Getting yes, all crisscrossing. And also, uh, they are in different levels, so even when you turn around, they crisscross in different levels. Ah, right, okay. So and and when the question, how are we going to know if somebody bites one? Well, basically we get the sound. Like, so it's something else. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, right. So once Get ready they, for that sound. <laughs> uh, once they release uh, the, the right number, uh, the, the right length, we'll lock it. And with the lock-in, if there's any fish on it, that will... Okay. Once it's bitten, how long does it usually take to bring that guy well, in? It depends on uh, the person's, the, the, the fisherman's quality. So, me uh, about five minutes, right? Uh, <laughs> yeah, I can say. <laughs> but it depends on the fish, the type of fish. Okay. So, if it is a 
giant travel we did quite hard. So that's uh, what the gloves are on for, huh? Uh, this is, yeah, to make it easy. Uh, All right. Uh, but these ones are quite easy without the gloves, too. Okay. Uh, but for, for a new person, yeah, it's easier as well. But we got the, the fighting chair. Okay. So you sit on this, we're gonna hook up the rod, and then it's easier. So you don't have to feel all the strength on your body, except just pulling. But this is what you do. Uh, so you don't have to feel the strength, unlike you know the pros do. They hook on the belt uh, on their waist, but here we have the real fighting chair. So anybody who's new still have no problem. They can hook the rod on, onto the fighting chair, and then actually just you know uh, feel the rod itself. Oh, so that's easier. Uh, basically, the fighting chair. Yeah. So, sixty-year-old person can do this, no problem. Ten. Ten-year-old kid can do this with uh, guidance from you guys. Yes. Our, our, our uh, minimum age requirement for this type of fishing is about ten. About because 10, yeah. below ten is it's really difficult and it's dangerous for kids. Uh, so above ten, yes. Okay. Uh, so a family that can come out on the boat, no problem. This is great family activity. Uh, you know. Kids and parents all together, the boat capacity is good. A bunch of ladies could rent the boat and fish for the whole oh, afternoon, yes. no problem actually, with that. We have had some trips like that. You haven't had any yet? No, we have. Oh, we had. Yeah. Did it get out of hand or was it okay? It was okay, okay. because we have enough crew members. Got so. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so we're waiting for that sound, guys. And when they catch a the fish, they've elected me to uh, bring it in, so don't worry. I would never disappoint you. My subscribers, I would never disappoint you. So one thing I just wanted to suggest to everybody, don't ever think of getting your own boat to come out here and boat around in the Maldives because in the 26 atolls that the Maldives has, there are thousands of little islands uh, sprinkled around the area. There are a lot of sandbanks around. You could so easily destroy a boat if you're not careful. So it's best to trust these guys. They know the water, they've done it for you. Four lines out, one to the right, one to the left, and two straight on. And these got these anchored off the side of the boats here so that the lines don't crisscross. And they're actually on different levels so they don't get snagged if the boat has to do a hard right or a hard left. And uh, we've been floating around here for about 30 minutes right now. Fingers crossed, the guns are out, the boys are ready to rock. Come on, give us some fish. I just want to say thanks to everyone who watches my videos and um, about 80 to 85 percent of you that are watching aren't my actual subscribers yet so please hit that subscribe button below and the notification bell double click it to inform you when all my new videos come out the more you watch the more I get motivated to make videos for everyone no luck yet no fish I'm getting a little bit concerned been out of here for about 45 minutes to an hour no luck yet uh, cross the fingers, man. I'm really hoping that we find something. This is my last night here. Let's go. Come on, fishy, fishy, fishy. Let's go. So what's the biggest fish you've caught? Uh, tuna. Uh, 86 kilo. What? Yellowfin tuna. That was one kilo of fish is quite big because they don't go and do this type of fish. It's, uh, you, uh, the difference between the salt water fish is they fight. Even the small ones, they fight a lot. So that actually becomes uh, quite fun for people who are using hand line as well. What is the biggest fish somebody told you they caught? Uh, well, there are <laughs> you know, quite good stories. Uh, but I grew up, uh, my, my parents, my grandparents were fishermen. Tunas, uh, 100 kilos, 150 uh, kilos. Yeah. I haven't seen myself a 200 <laughs> kilo tuna uh, live. If it's 50, we're gonna say it's 200. 200, yeah. <laughs> so basically, if you're not catching fish, it's nice to just chill out. You're gonna see some dolphins along the way here. We're in a nice boat. And uh, I think we might have one. Yes. I think it's going here. Something's going here, no? No? Oh yeah. Oh yeah? 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 It's oh, my yeah. luck. Just when you were saying relax. Did we get something? There is uh, something on the top. Uh, okay. so there might be something, maybe not so big, but... Uh, Alex, wanna give it a try? You have to sit down. I gotta yeah? sit down? Sit down. Yeah. Alright. And yeah. see if there is a little tuna, maybe. A little tuna. Yes. Okay. 
Everybody else has to do this too. Yeah. So hold on, hold on here. Hold on to there. Yeah. Roll. 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 Yeah. 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 Do you feel pressure? It's on the top, so you can like, at least 80 kilograms. <laughs> a little bit, yeah. <laughs> This better be big or I'm going to look really dumb. You got to come try this. Yeah. Come on, come on, Yulia. Come on. Let's get her in here for a second. Okay. Let's get her in here. Okay. Oh, yeah. Okay. I'm going to leave it up to the wife to do this one now. Alright. Okay. So, then and go down. Oh, okay. So, Alright, anyway. Try. Yeah. She's doing a hell of a good job for being left-handed. Yeah. Where is it? It's quite far away. You can see it. There he is. Yeah, there you go. You feel him? Yeah, Jumping? Something's really big. It's definitely 200. Oh, yeah. 200. It's a 200. Here, here come the fisherman stories.